so not the healthiest but this has been like my go-to coffee addiction lately I just put some ice in a really uh, classy blender bottle cup but I just put some ice in there and then apparently these pods are actually made for like iced coffee ice espresso so I don't know how these are different than normal ones I mean you could pour any espresso over ice I'm pretty sure but these are just Nespresso pods and I just pop this guy up this is the lazy person hack instead of changing your entire thing back there and getting all the old pods out just make space for one then I'll just mix it up add a little bit of this this is just hazelnut coffee mate just add a splash of this I don't add cream or anything normally when I make black coffee but with espresso and ice this is so good 10 out of 10 so I am headed off to a meeting <laughs> coffee meeting and uh, having Kraft mac and cheese for breakfast because I'm an adult. Am I still 10 years old? Not sure. Also, you gotta get the shape ones so much better. But I just got a bunch of new perfumes in from Scentbird. So I'm gonna choose which one I wanna put on right now. I was smelling some of them a few days ago and one of them smells so freaking good. I'm excited to talk to you guys about this. So Scentbird is sponsoring today's video, this portion of the vlog. Oh my gosh, got a ton here that I picked out. I love how these also close off so they're super easy to like throw in your purse or travel with or whatever. And they have a crap ton on there. They have over 450 perfumes. There were a couple others I really liked. Oh, this one. This is Molinard Vanille. This one is like, if you're a vanilla person, this is like straight up vanilla, but it's not too overpowering and I feel like this would be a really good mixing one. I almost feel like I could mix it with that one I just sprayed. Let's try. I've been super into mixing scents lately because you can basically just create your like perfect perfume. Oh my gosh, those two together smell really good. I'll actually show you guys my perfume collection because I just organized it in this thingy. But if you're a perfume person like myself, I just feel like Scentbird is such a good way to just try a bunch of different perfumes. I rarely go through an entire bottle. So I don't know, I'd rather have like 20 different perfumes this size personally because one, it'll take me forever to even go through this size because I switch out my perfume so much. And then also you can just kind of like try them out and almost like date different perfumes, if you will, instead of just committing to like a super expensive giant bottle that will probably take you like 10 years to go through. This one I wasn't as much of a fan of. This was Estee Lauder Sensuous Nude. I like really like musky perfumes. I'm gonna show you guys my perfume so you can kind of see what I like and then gauge some of these based on that because I feel like that's a good way to figure out if you're gonna like a perfume by someone else's recommendation. So this one I actually thought I was really gonna like because it's by a brand. I love this perfume, Penrose Pillow Talk Poet. I've talked about this before. I think it's been in like Raisin Rejects videos. This is one of my most recent favorite perfume discoveries. This one isn't musky at all. It's like very cottony laundry but in such a good way and I always get compliments on this when I wear it and so I was excited to try this wait where did I just put that wild child by them and it smells really good it almost smells like um a DKNY one which I love the DKNY apple so maybe I do like this it's just different it's just not what I've been reaching for lately okay I'm just gonna spray this one on this card mm. I could get down with that one what is this this is true lust by Etat Libre de Orange. I'm sure I said that very professionally. Ooh, it's even in an orange one. So for 10 bucks, I just feel like Scentbird is such a steal. You guys can get your first month for $10 with my code down below. It's TAY30. I'll have the link right at the top of the description box if you wanna check it out. So I showed this in the last vlog, but I got this from Pier 1. This is what I'm keeping my perfumes in. And I need to get a mirror still for above here that I'm gonna either like lean or hang and then I get, you know, like a little something else for above there too. But right now I basically just have like accessories and stuff in here. So I have watches in this part and then sunglasses, sunglass cases, a little beach towel, just like random things. I'm still gonna be organizing this a little bit, but here is my current perfume collection. I have a few like body splashes in my bathroom just for like running out the door, but I wear perfume pretty much every day. Even if I'm not leaving the house, there's just something so satisfying to me about like smelling good. Tokyo Milk Dark Tainted Love mixed with this Jimmy Choo one. 
I almost feel like this Jimmy Choo one was limited edition. I think it was a limited edition holiday one like a few years ago. I actually don't see it on this bottle, but I'll try and find it and leave the name down below. These two mixed together are like, holy crap, so good. And then also Tokyo Milk Dark mixed with Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. This is one of my current favorite perfumes. Smells so good and musky and like sexy, but still warm. That's usually what I go for. This is a uh, favorite of the men. I don't know what it is about this, but whenever I'm anywhere, like I wore this in the airport one time and some dude walked past me and then turned around to tell me that my perfume smelled good. So this is Terry Mugler, Terry Mugler Alien. I feel like most of my perfumes just remind me of certain times of life. Like this is what I wore at my internship when I moved to Seattle every single day. Whoops. <laughs> DKNY Apple is like freshman year of college right here. This one I also really love, which was a little bit surprising to me because it's Stella McCartney Peony, and usually I'm not into like florals at all, but this one I think I mentioned uh, in a Sephora video or something, trying new products at Sephora. And it smells floral, but it also smells like a little bit spicy, a little bit feisty, you know? So that's a little look at my perfumes. I'm gonna get a little tray or something to keep her little cup to keep my Scentbird ones on, even though I'll probably They'll probably end up in different purses and backpacks and travel makeup bags. I'm super excited about that first one. Also, all of their stuff is authentic. You're not going to get like knockoff perfumes or anything. And you can also upgrade your account too if you want to. So if you want to get two or three perfumes, you could do that as well. All right, I just got home, figured I would show you guys a little Trader Joe's haul since we have lots of Trader Joe's bags here. Don't know why I'm looking totally blue right now. Should I just turn this light up? Whoa, no. So I got some kimchi. I haven't tried the Trader Joe's kimchi before. And then some vodka sauce. I got like frozen, they have frozen spiralized zucchini noodles. So I figured I could use that with that. And I also got some raviolis in here somewhere. Cuban style black beans. Haven't tried the Cuban style ones from them yet. Got some sourdough bread. Some olive spread. These I'm really curious about. I haven't tried these before. But these are the three seed beet crackers. I got a bunch of dips in one of these bags, so I figured these would be good to dip into pretty much anything. Carrots for dipping. This looked really interesting. This was jalapeno lime almond dip. It's an almond based dip with jalapeno and lime. It's vegan and gluten free. This is spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip, so this is supposed to be like a healthier alternative. Kind of like artichoke dip. Some rice broccoli. I haven't tried this. I love rice cauliflower. I usually get the whole foods frozen. Rice cauliflower, frozen orange chicken. Actually, that would be good just like mixed in with orange chicken or something. These are the frozen zucchini well, spirals I was talking about. So this would be good to mix with any kind of like fish or anything and pasta sauce or whatever. Separate, not fish and pasta sauce. Another dip, this is the vegan kale cashew basil pesto. I've heard good things about this. Another dip hummus. This is a cilantro and jalapeno hummus. Chunky, spicy guacamole. And then I also got these tortilla chips. These are quinoa and black bean tortilla chips. This salad, which I might eat for lunch right now, this is the Mexican style corn and quinoa salad. Here are the raviolis, spinach and ricotta raviolis. I'm just gonna freeze these so I have them. And then I've been addicted to mixing goat cheese with any kind of like blackberry jam and then dipping crackers into it. It's not healthy at all but it's so freaking good. Some bacon. This is really good, the Trader Joe's stuff, because you can just microwave it. It's already fully cooked and it gets like burnt, super crispy, so good. And then last bag here. Have to have some kind of sweet thing. I usually am good if I just have like a bite of chocolate. Okay, I used to live off of these things in college. If you've never tried the creamy spinach and artichoke dip, this is in the frozen section of Trader Joe's. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It's definitely not healthy in the slightest, but if you're just like craving something really rich. Got this Asian vegetable mix, cooked frozen shrimp. I've been really into shrimp lately. I also got this as a lunch potentially today. I probably need to eat this one today actually. I'll eat this out tomorrow. These are shrimp spring rolls. Some hot dogs. I can't remember the last time I've actually bought hot dogs, but we've been doing some like grilling and stuff over the summer. Uh, this has chicken and like, Thai dressing, I think. And then Japanese style fried rice. This fried rice is really good if you've never tried it. Wow, okay, I got a lot of shrimp things. This is a sriracha shrimp bowl. I've never tried this, but it's microwavable and it just has veggies, brown rice, shrimp, and some kind of like sriracha sauce. And I got some frozen tilapia. Got a couple breakfast things. These are the meatless breakfast patties. And then blueberry waffles. All right, last thing I got, which I definitely 
didn't need. Someone was telling me that these were really good. So these are the Trader Joe's mini mango mini mochi. You freeze these. That texture of mochi is so good. Just made some lunch. This is the Trader Joe's uh, frozen orange chicken that you guys saw in the little Trader Joe's haul. I just put some green onion on it and then I totally overcooked these. Whoops, but squash and zucchini. Bon appetit. All right, so it's 7 a.m. right now. Rach and I are gonna go on a little mini road trip today. It's Saturday. In all, almost four years, I've lived in Seattle. I don't think I've ever been through the North Cascades. So we're gonna go drive through there, go to Lake Diablo, which is like this super pretty, super blue lake, do a little hike around there, and then head back. It's like two and a half hours away. And this weekend is Seafair weekend, so traffic's probably gonna be like extra insane. So I'm gonna pick her up at like eight, and we're gonna get on the road. I'm excited. Sometimes I get these urges to like just leave, which is when I start looking at like plane tickets and things. So the solution this weekend, is, since I'm going to San Diego next weekend, is to go on a road trip. Got my girl power shirt on. Got this, I think, off of Romway or Zaffle. Zaffle. And I've got my coffee. Jeep, 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 you look at me, dude, look at me. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Here we are, we hiked all the way to the top. <laughs> we deserve this view. Oh, oh wow, yeah. wow, look at that spot. A plus. Oh. <laughs> Just wanted to get as close as possible. This is ridiculous. Life of being a friggin' YouTuber, man. These are all broken, and they're all not under warranty. Canon has conveniently placed a one-year warranty, and all of their products happen to break right after one year. All right, so it's Monday night, I just showered. Nothing super thrilling happened today. I just worked and cleaned my place, but I did drive to Bellevue because I solely bought cable pretty much to watch The Bachelorette finale tonight. <laughs> Ashamed. It starts in like 20 minutes. Uh, while I was in Bellevue though, the, the Xfinity stores out there, I got this cinnamon chip bread from Great Harvest Bread Co. I've never been there before. It was like a, you know, homemade bakery kind of thing. This is so good. I already ate off this like entire chunk right here. This alarm for The Bachelorette. I actually need to clean that entire filming room while The Bachelorette is on because I'm actually painting the closet doors, which you guys see in the background of the videos. I'm painting those black so the guy is coming to pick those up so that they can do it while i'm out of town he's coming in the morning so i need to clean that whole room <laughs> but what i came in here to show you guys is i went to the container store what i'm gonna do while i'm watching the bachelorette i got all of these kitchen organizers from the container store for this lovely thing back here which is currently shelving a lot of my food that thing i got off of amazon and it's been great because it fits in that little corner but i got two cereal organizers and these are the pop brands so you pop it open it's supposed to keep everything better for longer it's like airtight since everything's out right here i just wanted to organize a little bit since you can't see everything it's not like hidden away so i got two of these and then i got a bunch of these that are different sizes that can be used for different things these are really cool because these are the oxo brand Good grips you just pop push that up and then it comes right off pretty great these ones are actually a bit bigger than i was expecting so what i did was placed an online order this is a good like shopping hack something i always do if a store does have an online pickup option where you can 
buy and place your order online and then pick up in store if you don't want to just have it shipped to you. I actually don't remember why I didn't have it shipped. <laughs> Do that because then you can actually use uh, Ebates or Sky Miles or Sky, what's it called? Sky Shopping, Delta Shopping. I talked about this on Twitter. This is not sponsored by either of them, but this was like a very good discovery. If you have American Express, you can use Delta Sky, I think I want to say it's called Sky Mile Shopping, and they have certain stores that aren't on Ebates, or sometimes I'll just check and see which one will like work out to be better. So it's basically like Ebates, but for miles. So the container store was doing some kind of back to school special kind of thing, where I think it was like four times the points, and then if you spent a certain amount, you got like 500 miles. So I ended up getting like 800 miles off of just this one purchase. American Express honestly is the best travel benefits that I found so I'm gonna organize all this stuff while I'm watching I need to get going because it starts in 10 minutes I don't know why my neck wrap is up there so that's where the cereal organization things are gonna be I just want to like clean this up put some of the rice in those containers probably here's some protein pancake powder I just want to clean this stuff up and and organize it so that's what I'm gonna do so ironic part of me buying cable pretty much solely to watch ABC for Bachelor in Paradise and The Bachelor is that it actually isn't working at all. Spent like three hours with Comcast today, but the lady told me about you can stream Xfinity. I can stream The Bachelorette, I guess, on here, like live. So that's what I'm gonna try and do right now. Uh, here's a little before of this room that I need to completely clean. Okay, so here is an after kitchen semi organized. So I put all of like dry crackers in here. In hindsight, I would, if you're gonna order these, I would probably go with the small ones because these ones are kind of like an awkwardly big size where they're also really wide, so you can't really put like tall pasta. I don't know, they're just like a weird size, like they're giant. So, uh, you know, gotta steal your ramen. And then I put quinoa. I had two bags of quinoa, so I put quinoa in a small one. This is just dry, like pancake and waffle mix. And then I didn't touch anything down there, but it's just cans. So now I'm moving on to the other room. Okay, got this room pretty much put together a little bit more. At least it's like viewable now. <laughs> okay, so it's Tuesday morning, it's the next morning, and I have just been editing all morning. I'm waiting for the Comcast guy to get here, but I just wanted to wrap up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a random one, this is the last moving vlog. I think I'm still gonna keep doing random vlogs if you guys wanna see them, it seems like some of you have been enjoying them, so that's good. I've been enjoying making them. There's just certain things I want to show you guys and share with you guys that I feel like I can't fit into my other videos. My battery's about to die. But let me know if you guys want these to continue. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Scentbird down below. I'll have the link right at the top of the description box. I'm excited to wear my new perfumes today. I'm actually um, going to be seeing the Project B Share ladies tonight. So I'm excited. They're in town for like a conference, so we're gonna be getting happy hour and stuff. But today's gonna be a major edit day. I need to get three videos edited. I just finished one, so I have two more to go. And I actually leave for San Diego in a day, so I'm pre-filmed, I'm all good for a couple weeks. I just wanna get everything edited so I can schedule it while I'm in San Diego and then have a few days off where I don't have to worry about anything YouTube related. So. That's the goal for today. My house is totally clean. I did like a deep clean. <laughs> Everything I talked about in this vlog is linked down below. Even like Diablo Lake and stuff, I'll put exactly where we went. So if you guys want to check it out, you can do that. I try and list every possible random thing that you guys will potentially want to know down below. So I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.